Will Lutz made a 35-yard field goal with 1 minute 40 seconds to play in overtime to lift the New Orleans Saints to a 26-23 victory over the Chicago Bears on Sunday at Soldier Field. Saints quarterback Drew Brees completed a 14-yard pass to Trequin Smith to get the Saints into Bears territory on the winning drive, and running back Alvin Kamara had a 20-yard run to get the Saints to the 11-yard line. After a Saints delay of game penalty, Lutz made his fourth field goal of the game. The Saints, 5-2, won the coin toss after regulation and received the ball to start overtime. But the Bears' defense came up with the stop. After the Saints were flagged for holding, Breeze threw back-to-back -back incompletions. On 3rd and 12 from their 45, Breeze hit Taysom Hill for a 10-yard pass, and the Saints punted. But the Bears, 5-3, got only to their 31-yard line on their possession. The Saints sacked quarterback Nick Foles twice, and Anthony Miller and Jimmy Graham each had drops on the drive to overshadow a stunning catch by Allen Robinson to convert a 3rd and 15. Bears kicker Cairo Santos made a 51-yard field goal with 13 seconds to play to send the game to overtime. The Bears trailed 23-13 with 9.57 to play after Breeze's second touchdown pass before rallying with a three-yard Foles touchdown pass to Darnell Mooney. The Bears' defense came up with a stop to set up the drive for Santos's tying field goal. In regulation, Foles threw an interception and nearly had another one picked off. The interception came immediately after a bizarre incident in which Bears wide receiver Javen Wims punched Saints safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson twice in the face mask. Wims was ejected. Foles finished 28 of 41 for 272 yards, with two touchdowns and one interception. He hit Robinson for a diving 24-yard touchdown catch in the second quarter, two plays after a 50-yard bomb to Mooney. Breeze was 31 of 41 for 280 yards with two touchdowns and no interceptions. The Bears got their running game going despite playing a Saints run defense that was ranked fourth in the league entering the game. David Montgomery had 21 carries for 89 yards, including a 38-yard run on a drive that ended in a field goal. He outgained Kamara on the ground. Kamara had 67 rushing yards, but he also caught nine passes for 96 yards, including a 47-yard catch and run in the first quarter. The Bears had a rough game with injuries. Right tackle Bobby Massey, knee, and defensive lineman Roy Roberts and Harris, shoulder, and John Jenkins, ankle, all left the game. Ted Ginn Jr. is inactive against the Saints, so the Bears will turn to a new punt returner. The Bears activated wide receiver Dwayne Harris on Saturday, and he likely will return punts in place of Ginn. Harris, now in his 10th NFL season, has returned 180 punts for 1,825 yards and four touchdowns in his career. The Bears kept Ginn inactive after Rams punter Johnny Hecker landed five punts at or inside the 10-yard line Monday night. Bears coach Matt Nagy said Ginn could have caught two of those punts. The Bears previously announced that center Cody Whitehair would be out with a calf injury and Sam Mustafer will start in his place. Cornerback Duke Shelley, running back Artavis Pierce, wide receiver Riley Ridley and outside linebacker Travis Gibson are also inactive. Outside linebacker Khalil Mack, ankle, safety Eddie Jackson, knee, wide receiver kick returner Corderell Patterson, quad, and special teams ace Sherrick McManus, hamstring, are all active after they were listed as questionable to play Friday. Wide receiver Allen Robinson is also active after he spent the week in concussion protocol. For the Saints, wide receivers Marquez Callaway and Michael Thomas, defensive backs Ken Crawley and DJ Swearinger, offensive lineman Nick Easton and Derek Kelly too, and defensive lineman Malcolm Roach are inactive. Saints kicker Will Lutz made a 38-yard field goal on the opening drive for a 3-0 lead against the Bears. The Saints converted two third downs on the drive, including a 9-yard Taysom Hill run on third and five from their own 30. On third and two at the Bears' 41-yard line, Saints running back Alvin Kamara broke outside for a 20-yard run. The Bears' defense held strong in their own territory. On the Saints' final three plays before the field goal, they lost one yard and then had two more plays of one yard each. Bears' right tackle Bobby Massey left Sunday's game in the first quarter with a knee injury. He is questionable to return. Massey went down on a three-yard David Montgomery run with 6.22 to play in the first quarter. He walked off the field slowly, putting limited weight on his left leg, went to the injury tent and then to the locker room. Veteran backup Jason Spriggs took his place. 
the injuries on the Bears' offensive line are adding up. Left guard James Daniels has been out since week five with a torn pectoral muscle, and center Cody Whitehair missed the first game of his career today with a calf injury. Rashid Coward and Sam Mustafer are filling in for Daniels and Whitehair. Bears kicker Cairo Santos made a 44-yard field goal to tie the game against the Saints at 3-3, with 1.13 to play in the first quarter. The Bears' first drive of the game went 49 yards over 14 plays. Running back David Montgomery had four carries on the drive, including a nine-yard gain on third and seven from the Saints' 32-yard line. Quarterback Nick Foles also hit Anthony Miller with an 11-yard pass on a third and five play earlier in the drive. The drive also featured an appearance from backup quarterback Mitch Trubisky, who took a carry three yards before Foles returned. Saints kicker Will Lutz's 27-yard field goal attempt hit the right upright and bounced out, and the Bears and Saints remained tied 3-3 early in the second quarter. After a Saints penalty on the kickoff return backed them up to their 12-yard line, Alvin Kamara broke free for a 47-yard catch and run to the Bears' 39. Kamara left Khalil Mack in his wake and cruised through open field before Eddie Jackson finally took him down. Kamara also had a 14-yard catch from Drew Brees on the drive. But the Bears' red zone defense came through again to force the field goal. The Bears and Saints kickers are kicking in windy conditions. A kickoff, 20 miles per hour wind out of the southeast was announced. The Bears needed only four plays to take a 10-3 lead against the Saints. After several missed deep shots in previous games, Nick Foles and Darnell Mooney finally connected on a 50-yard pass. Two plays later, Allen Robinson beat Saints cornerback Martian Lattimore into the end zone and scored on a diving 24-yard catch. The Bears took a 13-3 lead on Cairo Santos's 29-yard field goal, with 1.39 left in the first half. On third and one from the Bears' 48-yard line, David Montgomery broke free for a 38-yard run to get to the Saints' 14. But the Bears gained just three yards after that on a one-yard Montgomery run, a two-yard Nick Foles pass to Ryan Nall and an incomplete pass. The Bears' offensive line suffered another injury on the drive. Backup right tackle Jason Spriggs, who was filling in for Bobby Massey, left with an apparent left leg injury. Rashid Coward moved to right tackle, and Alex Bars went in at left guard to fill the hole for one play before the field goal. Bears defensive lineman Roy Robertson Harris also left the game with a shoulder injury and was questionable to return. Saints quarterback Drew Brees' 16-yard touchdown pass to Jared Cook cut the Bears' lead to 13-10 at halftime. The Saints responded to a Bears field goal with a nine-play, 68-yard drive in just 1 minute 36 seconds. The drive was helped by a pass interference call on cornerback Kyle Fuller as he was defending wide receiver Deont Harris. The 13-yard penalty brought the Saints to the 16-yard line, and two plays later, Breeze found Cook wide open in the end zone. The Saints have outgained the Bears 203-175. The difference is a missed field goal by Saints kicker Will Lutz. Will Lutz's 27-yard field goal brought the Saints to a 13-13 tie with the Bears, with 9-19 to play in the third quarter. The Bears' defense came up with a big stop after Saints punt returner Deont Harris took Pat O'Donnell's punt 26 yards to the Bears' 16-yard line. But the Saints gained only seven yards on the next three plays, and they turned to Lutz. The Bears advanced to their 32-yard line on their first drive of the second half. But a delay of game penalty, a sack for a loss of nine yards and a false start penalty on a punt backed them up to the 13 before Harris's big return. Bears wide receiver Javon Wims was ejected from the game midway through the third quarter after punching Saints safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the face twice. Gardner-Johnson was not covering Wims during the play before the altercation, and Wims walked several yards to approach him and punch him. The fight happened on the first play of the Bears' second drive of the second half. Immediately after the ejection, Bears quarterback Nick Foles threw an interception to Martian Lattimore. Will Lutz made a 39-yard field goal to give the Saints a 16-13 lead against the Bears, with 5.08 to play in the third quarter. The Saints' drive started at the Bears' 39-yard line after Martian Lattimore's interception of Bears quarterback Nick Foles. The Saints extended the drive by going for it on fourth and six at the Bears' 35. Saints quarterback Drew Brees hit Deont Harris for an eight-yard pass. But after the Saints gained seven yards on the next two carries, Brees' third down pass fell incomplete. 
Drew Brees hit Taysom Hill for a 20-yard touchdown pass to give the Saints a 23-13 lead with 9.57 to play. The Saints started their drive after Bears quarterback Nick Foles nearly threw an interception on 4th and 5 at the Saints' 36-yard line. It fell incomplete, and the Saints took over. Brees completed all five of his passes on the drive, including an 11-yarder to Jared Cook and a 13-yarder to Alvin Kamara to open the drive. On the Saints' previous drive, the Bears' defense made a huge stop on 4th and 1 at their 41-yard line to give the offense good field position. Kamara took the handoff, and inside linebacker Rockwin Smith wrapped him up and took him down for a loss of two yards. But the Bears' offense couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Bears quarterback Nick Foles hit wide receiver Darnell Mooney with a three-yard touchdown pass to cut the Saints' lead to 23-20 with 3.32 to play. Foles hit Allen Robinson for a 28-yard pass and Jimmy Graham for an 11-yarder on back-to-back -back plays to get the Bears to the 12-yard line. Saints linebacker Demario Davis was called for pass interference while covering Graham in the end zone on 3rd and 12 at the 14. That gave the Bears the ball on the 1. Running back David Montgomery lost two yards and carried for no gain on back-to-back -back plays before Foles found Mooney cutting into the right corner of the end zone. Bears kicker Cairo Santos made a 51-yard field goal to tie the game against the Saints 23-23 with 13 seconds to play in the fourth quarter and send the game to overtime. Santos had to make two attempts. He also made his first one, but the Saints called a timeout before he got it off. Cameron Jordan sacked Bears quarterback Nick Foles for a loss of eight yards on second down to put the Bears at third and 18 from the Saints' 48-yard line. But Foles hit Anthony Miller with a 15-yard pass to get the Bears into field goal range. Earlier in the series, Foles extended the drive with an 11-yard pass to Miller on fourth and eight and a seven-yard pass to Allen Robinson on fourth and two. After Foles hit rookie wide receiver Darnell Mooney for a three-yard touchdown pass with 3.35 to play, the Bears' defense came up with a big stop. On third and four, inside linebacker Danny Trevathan took down Alvin Kamara for a loss of three yards. The Saints punted, and the Bears took over at their 32. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon for future updates.